Ooh, Wrath of the Titan. Ninfilia is waiting to brief you and your fellow Scions on a new development. The Maelstrom requests our assistance. Concerning the kobolds they sent such copious notes on, I presume? Yes. And no, it has more to do with their findings, which portend a peril far greater than any beast tribe. What sort of peril? The worst kind. A tribe of kobolds in the vicinity of Limsa Lominsa has reawakened Titan. Our task will be to slay the primal. The Maelstrom have sworn support for the endeavor. They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. Years before the Grand Company's reformation, Two primals, Leviathan and Titan, chanced to converge upon the sea wall, wreaking untold devastation. There, by the grace of the Navigator, were the mercenaries Melvip hired able to fend them off. Yet it did not take long for the beast tribes to regroup, and they summoned their primals once more. Thankfully, their second coming was decidedly short-lived. But that is beside the point. So long as tormented souls will them to exist, the realm will never be rid of primals. The Maelstrom has kept a watchful eye upon the beast tribes, and the kobolds in particular, ever since. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. Unfortunately, the only force known to have bested him, the modestly named Company of Heroes, disbanded five years since, and mercenaries are not in the habit of keeping chronicles. Expect the worst. The Maelstrom's help is of course appreciated, but even if we had their whole armada at our disposal, we could still find ourselves overmatched. A pity the kobolds lack the gentle sensibilities of the sylphs. A peaceful resolution would be more than welcome. The Echo will not avail you this time, I fear. If you are to survive, your steel must needs speak for you. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. No, I got this. So you will accept? Thank you. We can't very well send her to Limsa Lominsa without Yastola. Can we, Minfilia? May I ask that of you, Yastola? I never thought it in question. Ever reliable. Very well. We will spare no effort to win victory. You may count on the full support of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And all not a field will aid the fight from afar. Sancred, Ida, go to the Grand Companies. Tell them of our plight and solicit their support. Ariange. Send word to the students of Baldessian, and Alfino, if you would. Papalimo, compile all the information we have on Titan, little though it may be. You will be apprised of the tactical situation when you reach the Sailor's Ward. Provision yourself for the journey. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Okay, so I think this is the... 
um, much talked about Company of Heroes quest stuff, which is a lot of people complain about being a grind. I don't really remember much, if anything, about it, so... Looking forward to it. Thank you for agreeing to handle Titan and the Kobolds. As Histola mentioned, the mission will be fraught with danger, so we will want to spare no preparation. I shall look forward to your triumphant return, as shall all your comrades. Go with the blessing of the crystal. There was something else I was just thinking of. Oh yeah, like something in the dialogue was talking about how like, oh, this is far greater than, you know, than, than the threat of the beast tribes or whatever. And I was like, oh, what is this? And then they talk about the kobolds and titans. And I was like, well, I mean, isn't that the threat of the beast tribes? Like the beast tribes themselves, I don't think are that threatening, you know, beyond their, their primals. I mean, the Amalgia, I think, are kind of a pain to deal with. But I don't know how much of a pain the Kobolds are. No matter one's past transgressions, all who have seen the dream are welcome, even men such as we. I have heard offers such as these before. All were not more than bait for the hangman's noose. See, this is interesting. I I probably, like, I tend to talk to all NPCs, you know, when I'm going through a game, but, like, I don't remember any of this stuff. Noraxia? This one has finally figured out a way to make walking ones be quiet. What does friendly one think? This one is very convincing, yes? Well, that's interesting. I didn't even know the Sylphs could do that. Ida is on her way to Gridania to, to request aid of the Order of the Twin Adder. In the meantime, we must learn all we can of the Primal Titan. Literature may yield us the odd morsel of inf useful information, but there is no surer way than to seek the former members of the Company of Heroes. The waking sand sure is busy these days. Fresh-faced venturers eager to make their mark. Famous folk like you running off to face the bleeding lord of crags. Maybe it's time for me and the boys to retire. Adventuring's a dangerous calling, after all. Be a little slow, be a little late, just once, and that's that. You'll not believe it, but I've been summoned by Lady Minfilia. Do you suppose that she has an assignment for me? What I would not give to have something to fight for again, and yet I must not be overeager. With this many people here, we need a culinarian of our own. We can't subsist on rations and preserved foodstuffs forever. Yeah, those are both uh, vendors. Lavenza, have you heard? I've been chosen to serve as Norixi's bodyguard. There, there have been increasing reports of imperial activity in Thanalin, and so the an antecedent insists that our guests be escorted whenever venturing outside. I know how hard you of all people work to, en to endear us to the Sylphs. I swear to you that I will guard our honored guests with my life and not allow your efforts to come to naught. Congratulate the boy Lavenza, chosen by the antecedent on, as the Sylph's bodyguard. What an honor. Of course, this means his dusty rags will no longer suffice. I say we get the boy a shiny new suit of silver armor, the kind the Sultan sworn wear. We split the cost evenly and surprise him. Not bad, huh? Guarding Norixia is a prestigious deed, duty indeed. Ehrenwald is right to be excited but he has never crossed swords with a Garlean before. I worry what will happen if he is forced to confront his father's countrymen. 
Oh, that's... So he's maybe at least like half Garlean? I think I remember something about that, but... If there's anything we can do to help, no matter how small, just ask. Broken carriage axle, broken barrel, hells, even a leaky bucket. Say the word and we'll fix it. I don't want to believe that Master Garland is dead. Well, he's not. I just don't know where he is. But the chief wasn't the type to cut and run off. He must have gone to Cartno. He, he would have been there when Dalamud fell, which means... Just rereading it, kind of thinking about Sid. Hmm. As the primals fall, so do our spirits soar. Though mine, though mine aid, okay, <laughs> though mine aid be modest, I nonetheless am heartened in my duties. Okay. I am told you are one of our finest, Lavenza. I suspect we will see much more of each other in the future. I actually don't recognize Clive, so maybe not. Looks like the antecedents found herself a good crop of aspiring heroes. I, I reckon Eorzea will be alright as long as these fine folk are around to protect her. Okay, so Okay, so yeah, that's uh Them's uh Hail, adventurer, and welcome to Maelstrom Command. If you wish to know more about enlisting, speak with the personnel officer. Ooh. Unless you are the guest we were told to expect. Aha! Ahem. Forgive me, madam. To business, then. It is as, it is as we told the antecedent. The kobolds have once again summoned Titan. A little over a moon ago, we began to observe the beastmen moving south in increasing numbers from Agoromo, Ago, Agomoro. Our scouts subsequently confirmed the object of their aggression, aggression, crystals, fodder for their fell primal. Thank you, High Commander. You may leave the rest to me. Word is spread as of your accomplishments, Lavenza. On behalf of Limza Lamenza, I thank you for heeding our call. Forgive the lack of forewarning, High Commander. The Admiral wished to address Lavenza personally. We are no strangers to conflict. Long have the, Sah the Sahagan and the Kobolds plagued our people. Nor is this the first time we have had to address a primal threat. In the past, when, th when Titan rose to threaten the peace, it was to the company of heroes we turned. But they are long disbanded, and we must look to other brave souls blessed with the strength to face this foe. So it is that we turn now to the silence of the Seventh Dawn, confident in the belief that you are Limsa's best hope. I hope you are right, yet the situation is far from simple. The kobolds are not prone to unprovoked aggression. Did not the Thalassocracy make a pact with the beastmen that each would keep to their own lands and that no blood would be shed? 
And was it not the Lamenzans who violated this agreement, dissatisfied with their lot? Yeah, I remember. That was brought up again, more recently. Shall we then condemn the beastmen for defending their homes? Even a pirate must one day reap what she has sown. I would advise you to choose your words with greater care, Lady Ishtola. Stand down, High Commander. She has the right of it. And the wrong is mine. Freely do I claim it. Yet it makes little difference. Remorse will not shield us from Titan's wrath. Or would you have us fall upon our swords? My apologies, Admiral. The safety and security of Limsa Lamenza's citizenry are, of course, a par of paramount concern. Already we have observed disruptions in the flow of Aether further inland. The effects will be felt here in the city ere long. I must ask of you. I must ask of you, I know, but the need is great. Can I count on your help, Lavenza? I have much. Wait, I ask much of you. Wow. You have my thanks, along with the full support of the Maelstrom. I await good tidings. That the Kobold should summon Titan uh, demonstrates they are no longer amenable to negotiation. This being the case, we must needs prepare for conflict. Before we meet Titan in the field, however, it would be wise to learn all we can of our foe. And I can think of no better source of information than the mercenaries who defeated him once before. The company of heroes may be no more, but several of its former members still live. It is said that one of them is employed at the Grey Fleet Mills in Lower Lenotia. Quite why a mercenary should choose to become a miller, I do not know. When you find him, mayhap you can ask him for me. I, meanwhile, shall seek his fellows. Man, reading aloud is still <laughs> turning out to be more difficult than I thought it would be. So there's no other quick way to lower Lenosha. I think it may just have to be... Uh, uh, what am I looking? Casa del, Casa del Sol looks to be the quickest. Yeah, so I know this Company of Heroes thing, like I said earlier, is considered to be one of the, the long parts. And I want to say I read that it really wasn't touched all that much in the revamp, but I could be wrong. The Company of Heroes is the most celebrated mercenary band in the history of Eorzea. Even so, I must admit I've never before met one of their members face to face. I imagine that a warrior who had toppled both Titan and Leviathan would seek to bask in a lifetime of fame and glory, yet he seeks to have settled he seems to have settled in a place distinctly bereft of adoring crowds. Wow, he is Maybe he's just hiding himself because of what he's wearing. Lay down your burden, son. Come drain a pint with me. We'll have a grand old time. Find ye a lass or three. Uh, you gonna say something, Venture, or just keep staring? Eh? You wanna know about the company of heroes? Ah, hells. Price of bleeding fl fame. Can't, can't a miller mill in peace no more? Still, seeing as you've come all this way, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to oblige you. Consider yourself lucky, lass. Altractom was 
Old Tractum was the company's best axeman. Now, what what was it you wanted to know? Tales Tales from the Titus Slayer. Uh, and is that supposed Titus or Titus? Is that supposed to be a, a play on uh, a character from Ten? I played a bit of Ten, quite a bit, I think, but uh, I I didn't beat it. Anyway, uh, Tractum is eager to regale you with stories of his glory days. Ah ha ha! So you want to hear the tale of how the company of heroes bested a primal, do you? Let me guess. You mean that bastard Titus, eh? Oh, if only you'd been there to see it. Twas a mighty struggle, like the legends of old. Me and the boys fought him for three days and nights, we did. The ground trembled with every step Titus took. And when... And when he hit you, girl, it felt like a cannonball to the gut. Ugh. Just just like that. Oi. What's that look for? I'm a god's damn hero, I'll, I'll have you know. The people around here sing me praises. Don't tell me... Don't tell me you only care about learning the secret tactics we used to beat old Titus. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, too bad, because now I'm not feeling charitable. If you're so damn desperate, then why don't you do me a favor and kill those rats that have made a nest by the windmill just south of here? I do that, and then we'll talk. I mean, I kind of get the... Uh... Like, obviously, characters have you do a lot of, like, menial tasks for you, but, or for them, but, I mean, at the same time, like, at least some of the, the, the stories they give as to why you have to do the menial tasks, while annoying, I mean, me, like, I kind of put it more on the character that's making you do it than, than the writer's. Ooh, king rat. And he's dead. Oh, that's went a bit too far. Eh, so the beasties are dead, are they? Nice work, Venture. Save me the hassle of Ah, never mind. Hungry, hungry gooboos. Tractum appears to be ignoring you. What? You still asking about how we beat Titus? I don't know, Venture. It was a pretty risky strategy. The kind only a veteran of ten score battles could rely upon. I want to teach you, I truly do. But unless you prove you have what it takes to face that fat bastard. <laughs> I can't in good conscience uh, tell you a damn thing. At the very least, you need to be capable of slaying, say, a gubu. Come to think of it, that ain't a bad idea. Them creatures have a, have a taste for the flour milled here, so you ought to have no trouble finding one in the vicinity. Of course, I ain't asking you to cut one down quick as a skilled axeman like me. Any road, why, why don't you try heading due west and, and stand in the lookout Okay, any road, why don't you try heading due east and, and stand in the lookout in case a gubu comes calling. Slay it, and I might consider telling you more about old Titus. She got anything new? Nope.
look around, look around, look around some more. <laughs> hey, dude, I just one shot a goo boo. Come on, like, tell me how to beat Tidus. Eh? Huh? You again? Then that, then that Gubu that was harassing the Millers is dead? Didn't think you had it in you, Venture. Still, you took forever in a day to get the job done. I'm still not sure if I should tell you our secrets. Wow, okay, these are... Quick quests. The, the Laminzen Way. Tractome remains unconvinced of your readiness to defeat the dread Primal Titus. So, uh, as I was saying, I still don't know if you've got what it takes to face Titus. Maybe if you slew, uh... Tractome, you in here drinking again? If you are, that Gubu had better be dead. Oh, so just having me do his work for him. Oh, it's dead, Chief. You have me word on that. Cleave the beast skull in two with me trusty axe, I did. Is that a fact? And what will your friend here say if I ask her? Sh she'll vouch for me, of course. Ain't that right, friend? Tell me true. Was it Tractum who slew that gubu, or was it you? Chief. What are you saying? It's me, Tractum, the finest axeman ever to serve in the company of heroes. The legendary mercenaries who slew that bastard, Titus. Titus? Titus? Who in the seven hells is Titus? Some primal you fought in a drunk, sodden dream? The company of heroes slew Titan, you bloody halfwit. Uh, I, well, see, Titus was what me and the lads used to call him. That's the biggest load of Sahagan Shida I've ever heard. Both of you outside. We'll learn the truth of the we'll learn the truth the Laminzen way. Tract him. If you didn't slay that Gubu, you may consider yourself your you may consider your contract revoked. <laughs> okay. You gonna keep staring at me that way? That was a weird little, <laughs> like, pirouette he did. Still nothing new, yeah. So it's looking like this dude maybe wasn't a part of the company of heroes. All right, you know the rules. First one to smash their boulder will be Judge the Gubu Slayer. And don't even think about trying to kill me. That's cheating. Who picked these boulders? There's nothing alike. Ah, oh, the hell's with it. Let the contest begin. Okay, and this one is synced, so... <laughs> I can't just blow right through it. How you doing, lass? Feeling a bit stiff by any chance? Nope. <laughs> only killing... Yeah, yeah, only killings against the rules. You're still at it. Bugger me. Says lucky I've got one of these. Where did he go? <laughs> oh well. Ran away in fear, I guess. All right, all right, I admit it. I lied about being in the company of heroes. Okay, he clearly intended something to blow up. Uh, but I'm begging you, Chief. Please don't dismiss me. I've learned me lesson. Honest, I have. Save your blabbering, Tractome. Ugh. 
Gods, I should have known. Mercy, please. I didn't want to deceive you, I swear. It's just that I kept getting turned away by all the folk I asked for work, and I panicked. See, the last job I had was at Casa del Sol. And there was this grizzled marauder everyone treated like royalty. When I heard he was a captain in the Company of Heroes, I finally understood why. I, I wasn't being serious when I said I was one of them, but you went and believed me, so I... So I... Er... Look, his name was... White Wise Kate? Wise Cat? Okay. Look, it, it, his name was Wise Cat, all right? Wise Cat. He'll he'll tell you how to defeat T Titus or whatever the hell's that thing's name is. That's what you wanted, ain't it? So come on then. Tell the chief to forgive me. It's only fair. It's like uh, whatever. Okay, so now I go to Casa del Sol. Or, yeah, teleport there. Okay. Well, this guy doesn't look as ridiculous. <laughs> Pardon? You wish to slay the Lord of Crags? We must slay him, Captain. The people of Limsa Lamins are depending upon us. Where did... Oh, yeah, Yastola was back there, so obviously she overheard all that. Hmm. <laughs> you fancy yourselves heroes, then? J just like in the tales? Be not so quick to judge. Long have I labored for the well-being of you and yours. And my associate here has bathed in Ifrit's hellfire and lived. She is blessed with a power that protects her from primal influence. Thus was she able to lay low the Lord of the Inferno. We know full well the risks, and have taken every possible precaution. We lack only the knowledge of how to enter Titan's lair. Pray be so good as to grant us the boon of your wisdom, and we shall be on our way. A woman who can't be tempered. Useful. But it will not be enough. It is true that the company of heroes fought and felled primals. But each victory was bought with the lifeblood of brave men and women. And Titan was the worst we faced. Aye, we defeated him in the end. But he took from us some of our very best. Even if you possess the power you claim, I have no reason to believe you will succeed. Believe what you will. We mean to try. Though our lives be forfeit, we will not abandon Limsa to the wrath of Titan. You are passionate. I'll give you that. And you deserve better than the greeting I gave you. But I will not send you into a Gomoro on a whim. To be plain, I do not wish to see you give your lives in vain. At the very least, I must have assurances that you are more than common adventurers. I oversee security for Master, for Master Gegeruju, Geger, Gegeruju. I oversee security for Master Gegeruju's estates. Perhaps you can demonstrate your abilities by attending to one of our. Ye gods, man. Ye gods, man, have you heard nothing I have said? We have not the time to perform trivial tasks. You tell him, Stola. The enemy is at the gates. Do you imagine words can sway me, girl? If you dislike my conditions, then you are welcome to find your own way into Ogo Ogomoro. Ah. <sighs> Though it pains me to admit it, I fear we have no choice but to acquiesce to the man's demands. Yet much remains to be done if, if we are to best tighten. 
Forgive me, but I must ask you to undertake this task alone. I will use the time to see to the remaining preparations. Leaving the dirty work to others, are we? Yeah, very well. And all too common. <laughs> Pray, do whatever the good captain bids, however trifling. Remember, the fate of Limsa Laminsa hangs in the balance. Yeah, I think it doesn't help that, like, a character, like, acknowledges that this is bullshit. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I've been having a great time going back through the story again. And if you've enjoyed it as well, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to join me live, the link to my Twitch is down below. Thank you.